Men, 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 men. It's great to be on a ship with men and sail across the sea. Oh, we don't know where we'll land or when, but it's great to be with men. It's great to be with men. Hi, welcome back to What's Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we're going to do an unboxing of Flying Colors Fleet Actions in the Age of Sail. This is the deluxe uh, reprint edition, which includes the Ship of the Line expansion from GMT, came out last year. Um, game designed by Mike Nagel. Uh, it's a big box, it's a big three inch, you know, good size box. So we're going to check out what's inside here. All right, nice artwork on the front. Beautiful historic broadsides encounter here. Uh, thick box. All right, so let's see what we got. Obviously the first thing we've got here is a GMT tray. Help on all your counters. There's that. We're going to set that off to the side. And then we have the Flying Colors rule book. It's a 3.2 uh, version from, tw uh, from 2020. So obviously it's, a, it's a been updated. And you know, your standard GMT uh, rule book. Very nice, you know, matte paper. Not too shiny, not too slick. The full color laid out in uh, you know, the outline order. Um, so it comes in at 24 pages total for this rule book. Um, just the rules. Let's see if there's a if there's a section where it stops and gives you some more advanced rules. Let's see how much you actually have to learn here. Um, Optional rules start on page 17, so really you've only got about 17 pages of rules uh, that you're going to look through and then uh, to start playing, and then you can go from there. So, pretty cool. Now we've got a C3i magazine logo on this. This is the Flying Colors Scenario Pack, which is obviously some uh, scenarios that were uh, printed in the C3i magazine, which is still available from RBM Studios, so make sure you uh, grab a copy of that. So this has... Uh, same quality. It's got some campaigns, some various scenarios that were printed in there. So these are bonus. And then you've got the standard playbook that comes with it. The deluxe edition. Now this is a beast. This is 48 pages. And includes uh, how to design your own, how to play for tournaments, scenarios, duels, ship of the line scenarios. This is listed as pretty highly uh, solitaire friendly. So there must not be a lot of hidden information. Roll the roll of the die, things like that. All right. We obviously the way it shows the playbook. We'll get to the maps here in a minute. Uh, you can see the you can see the gradation where you've got shallower areas and deeper water. So that's pretty cool. I don't think. Well, we'll see. We'll just let's not think. Let's just see. So now we have. Sheets of counters, seven sheets of counters. So we've got ships, got Britain ships here. So obviously the big, uh, the rectangle uh, shape, similar to uh, the cars in Thunder Alley or the planes in uh, Wing Leader series. So they are not pre-rounded. They are still punch and scored. So you may want to round them with the Organ Laminations 2.5 millimeter quarter rounder. So you can see one there. No, no light. There you go. So they punch. They punch pretty cleanly though. So the squares are not too untrue. Not a lot of nub there. So we have British. We have looks like Swiss and French on this sheet. And then we have another set of ships. Got some Spanish. Uh, I'm really horrible here with my flag recognition. I do see French, or the vertical flag is. I'll have to look that up. But so you got two sheets of ships. Now it looks like we've got a lot of counters here. They look pretty well registered, so they're pretty 
when they punch, the, you know, they'll be centered well. Counter sheet four. Now we've got some leaders here. Samaraz, Arthbunot, Bing, Calder, Collingwood, Drake, Duncan, Graves, you historians. Uh, probably gonna like jump on me for mispronouncing things. Uh, we got Hood, Howe, Jervis, Nelson. Got three Nelsons. So, uh, probably Ricky and Ozzy and Harriet. Um, so we've got just lots and lots of counters that are gonna like indicate the state of the, the battle. They're grappled or um, they fired from their starboard side or port side. Some more ships here. And the counter art is by Mark Simonich. So this is sheet five. Sheet six, coming right up, more ships. So it's not just two sheets of ships, it's four sheets to the wind. So there you go. And then finally, Number seven is another sheet of counters. They're struck, dismasted. They're on a shoal, they're adrift. Some more commanders, captains. They're awash, they're full sails. Ooh, seems pretty cool, pretty cool. And hiding down here, we got a couple of dice. A red and a blue. They are 10-sided, zero through nine. And I always like to test them. So we got a 0, 9, or we got a 90. Or we got a 9 to 10. So do dice. And then we've got Flying Cutters Enhanced Status Sheets. You got a whole pad of those. Oh, it's nice to go this way. So we got a full pad of those. You can mark your stats of the ships and what happened to them. All right, so now we've got maps. Maps, maps, maps. Okay, these are cool, because they're not... We've got maps, we've got player aids. Let's put the player aids down, we'll take a look at the maps. So the maps are... No, they're big. I thought they were going to be small. I thought they were cardboard, but they're actually paper. So we have map A. These are eight panel, eight panel maps. See if we can zoom out a little bit here so you can see more of it. So there are eight panel maps, so that puts it at uh, 34 by 22 for each map. And it says that some of the scenarios can be three maps in size, so that's pretty daunting really. So there's four of these, obviously with all different arrangements, A through D. All different terrain arrangements, I meant to say, or uh, depth. Take a look at a few of them more here. Lots of blue, obviously, as you would expect. So, I need some plexiglass here. I don't know how you're going to plexiglass three map battle. And why not? We'll go ahead and just open them all here. They are thick though, they're not they're not usual they're usual thin paper. This is map B. They are you know hex gridded with numbers. And let's take a look and see. Looks like we have no, nope, they're all the same numbers. I thought they might be uniquely numbered. But they're not, so take a look here at map C. Don't matter of order, we did D second. So obviously when they connect together, you're gonna end up with a new battlefield. Wow, that'll be that'll be huge. Why they didn't do four? So there's four maps. And then we've got some player aid cards. So, okay, so GMT usually does excellent player aids, so we'll see what they've got here. It's player aid card number one. There's gonna be two of them. So we've got our hit results table. Firepower determination. Coronade. 
rake, so rules, movement, tacking, wind adjustment, various information. So you get two of those, one for each player, and then there's a player aid card two, which is single sided. And this is a, obviously a booklet, you know, the four pager. And then these are single sided. Well, we got something else there, so we'll take a look. We've got player aid card two. And there's two of those, one for each player. But I believe you can pay more than more than two as well. Uh, collision, evasion, grappling, break off, strike, disengagement, and command transfer. Like I said, that's a single-sided card. And then finally, we've got a turn track with your sequence of play clearly outlined. Doesn't look like it's a very long sequence of play with your wind direction, your weather chart, and then the turns going around. So that is Flying Colors and everything you get in the box. So let's recap it one more time. You get the turn track, two sets of two sets of two player aid cards, player aid card two, and then a double si double sized player aid card one. Four large 34 by 22 maps. Kind of a thicker paper. So glossy so it'll endure the folding and creasing and then a sheet of status sheets a pad of status sheets seven seven sheets of counters you get three seats of counters four sheets of ships four sheets of ships for all several nationalities and then we've got the playbook with the, the main scenarios, the C3I supplemental scenario pack that includes the C3I printed scenarios and the rule book. And on top of all that, two dice and a GMT tray to hold on your counters or most of your counters. And that is what comes in Flying Colors, Fleet Actions in the Age of Sail from GMT Games designed by Mike Nagel. Thanks so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!